We made a shortcut. Fortunately, we don't have to worry about that. We uh, we just need to exit here and then, you know, go all the way over here, avoid the bats. Not that it matters. At this point, we'll just wreck them even if they come into contact with us. Just like, what is this, zombie? <laughs> I'm over Grabby Hand Zombie Man. He's so dead at this point. One shot death. That reminds me. This team has... Wait, does the other team just have pitchforks? They do. Okay. You know what? It's fine. This is our overpowered team. For all intents and purposes, they can totally just do that. We made our non-exploration team the most overpowered team, but that's fine. They, uh, they deserve it. And, you know, we're, we're pretty much optimized as far as we're gonna get. We got the ghosts. I don't like ghosts. It, it's it's sort of spooky it wants to ruin our day I want to save there is a chance that you might be in a very unwinnable situation I think sometimes uh, you can get blown into a room which I I'm pretty sure you can't get out of I'm not positive but I'm pretty sure there is one room that you can get put in and you'll never be able to get out of and you might think you can, but uh, I've yet to actually figure out a way that you can. It doesn't matter. Point is, we have a fresco, and I'm pretty sure that this thing is just gonna say uh, something about uh, the final battle. The final battle. No, okay. It's talking about the blue candles. We still need one. Remember, remember that puzzle that I brought up and said this is a thing? Um, yeah, still gonna. Also, I scattered some tonics in a very easy to access place. Cause I I I want I wanted to do it that way. I put one there. Uh, I'm probably gonna end up getting one very soon. Not gonna lie. Cause I mean, like, tonic for everybody would be would be good. It would be ideal. Let me take a look at... Let's see. Is, th is this another two key? It is! Oh my god! Here I was thinking, I don't think I need the two... No, I need the two key. I need it like all the way over here. Holy crap! What did I get myself into? There's like two guys. Um, a fresco. I need the other team. I need them here now. Uh, there's a tonic, fortunately. I'm gonna- I'm actually gonna use that. This team could use the help. And I'm gonna bring them all the way over there. You know what? I don't want to waste your time. Let me just, uh, jump cut to that. Alright, not too bad. Uh, I just realized this room is super important that we go get all the stuff on the bottom. But before that, let's take a looky-loo at this fresco and take its picture, because that's, that's what we're doing, you know, to get letters to appear on October 2nd. Use the four items at the sign of change. That one's talking about the final battle. Now then. Let's, uh, let's see... How about I move the bow over here, and then, given the choice, I'm going to unteam with all of y'alls. I, I don't want to put you into danger with this, uh, what is that, fire lava? On the other hand, I want to, I want to, you know, talk to this guy. It's Suo? Is, is that guy at Suo? Did he say it's Suo? What, what is going on here? You there, um... Taka, Takashi, Takashi, is it Takashi? Have, have, have I been mispronounced? Went on his own. Stop him. Ugh. Anyways, so let's, uh, let's put that in our inventory. Let's uh, let's take a look at this. Let's also put that in our inventory. We're, we're good now. Let's uh, let's team up back with you guys. And then, yeah, we're good. We are good.
We're, we we got all four items at this point. We got the diary, the coffin, the tool, uh, the photo. Also, guess what? Because uh, no one asked for it. We have Mir. He's back. Let's call everybody all, to, all together. All together to defeat the the uh, most dangerous of foes, Mir. I don't know what you're thinking. Why are we fighting Mir? I think it'd be one shot, right? I don't, I don't know. On the other hand, allow, allow me to shatter Mir to reveal nothing. I don't know why it's red, it just is. Did it do anything? Do you feel proud of yourself for doing nothing? Uh, really, I'm, I'm asking myself that. Do, do I feel... Oh, oh no. Allow me to get the... Oh, no. How are they on health? Oh, they're fine. Here I'm worried. It's like, oh, I put them in the direct line of danger. Uh, but no, we're fine. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. Because none of you guys asked for it. And none of you guys know. But we're actually at the end of the game. All we got to do is go confront Lady Mamiya. We got all the items. We got the last blue candle. Uh, we don't need these four items, essentially. They're useless. Uh, let me just take another look. Uh, we won't need the mallet. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go replace all of those stuff with tonics. Because, I mean, uh, it'd, it'd be good to have that. Also, I'm level 15. Um, I need to grind up like three levels, so I will see you guys, uh, in a little bit after I, after I am quite, uh, significant where I need to be. Oh, okay. Guess what I did? I leveled up like three levels, spent half an hour, and it was, I don't know if it was worth it. I don't, but guess what? Guess what? I got like a buttload of tonics. Like straight up buttload. I got like five tonics. So what I'm gonna do, because there's like no way I need all these tonics, and everyone is kind of, sort of, sort of like in need of some health. I I'm gonna use a tonic for each team. I mean, like, there's no way I need to be this, uh, this careful on it. But it, it's good. It's good to at least have this many tonics. Yeah, that's better. Uh, something else I'm just gonna save in case I flub up the next part. <laughs> totally a possibility. It would it would really suck. By the way, oh, our health is our health is looking pretty nice. Pretty nice. Not breaking into you know the two thousand range, but I, I'm okay with it. We're level eighteen. Anyways, so yeah, we have we have this puzzle, you know, we have three candles, they all fit. You take a look, candles in the hand, so it's pretty obvious, right? I mean, I'm not the only one that would assume that you, you gotta light this. I mean, it's a candle, it's made to be lit. Uh, and of course, you know, if, if that isn't good enough, pray. Pray with my 920 pray points. 81. Wait. Seriously, 81 is not enough? Like, do I have to get into the 90 range? Is this, is this like, you know, a fell check to make sure that you, you are appropriately high enough level? Uh, one second, okay. Uh, no whammy, no whammy, stop! Ugh, 91, it's got, yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, it's gotta work, 94, come on, what are you gonna say? Like, it's not good enough, I gotta get a perfect 9... 95 unless I was higher level Which I should mention uh, as far as I'm aware the level cap is straight up 20 So we're like two away from being a perfect level 20 uh, I, I am thinking Because as you can see Yeah You can't really run into any well oh, thank god I was trying to make sure I get there soon enough. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to carefully 
plan this. Because it's very easy to uh, screw up here. Very easy. Kazuo is in a good spot, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep switching off between uh, Asuka and Emi. Keep having him get captured. There's five of those little uh, swirly spirit away things. There's five of them. They want you. They really, really just are annoying. And the best method. Not not discovered by me. I mean, you can look this up. But it's discovered by somebody. I, I, I don't know who to give credit to, but someone discovered that, uh, yeah, it's just better to let them keep sparing away until, uh, in, until there's no more. It's just best to do that. And, I mean, like, it, it's a good method. It's a good method. I, I accept it. It's good to do. I'm just also trying to make sure I don't, uh, I don't respawn the armor. That would be a bad thing to do at this point. But as far as I know, we're, we're all good. Don't have to worry. I've just been grinding on stuff that's out here in, in this hallway. Because it gives pretty good experience. You can go grind on, uh, on, on giants and ghosts, you know, the real end game enemies. But the truth of the matter is, uh, I don't I don't like grinding on those because the ghosts have, I think they have access to just about any status effect you can get, which makes them pretty haphazardous. Plus, they can blow you away, which not not good. I don't I don't recommend it. Uh, other than that, I. I'm not really sure what else to say. I mean, like, everything out there gives some pretty good experience. All I can say is, well, now now we're in the final area. It, it just reeks final area. You got purple glowing stuff. Uh, we got some end game, I, I guess, m technically bosses, but uh, they're more like mini bosses. And uh, I figure it's a good time to show them off, because guess what? It's some of the most interesting enemies in the entire game. We got clones of us! All of us, there's five of them in total, but uh... Yeah, it's like, this is Emmy. She looks pretty close to how she does in the movie, which is... Uh, it's a good... It's a good portrait, I guess. NES, or... 8-bit graphics, 8-bit portrait. I'm impressed. There's a lot of really good graphical details to this game. It's, it's, it's crazy how talented the the guy's got i'm impressed i don't even know how you do that that's like if you put me actually i'm i'm sure there's a way to do it i'm sure people do it all the time i just don't know how you do it now i will say the path that i am taking completely uh completely pointless it, it's pretty much just a giant loop i'm just doing it because uh there's two optional bosses that's really all i can say about this there's two optional bosses Need to get all the way over there. I don't think there's a way. I, I need to go the long way. Uh, <laughs> if I speed up the video, just randomly, just just assume that's that's what I'm doing. Trying to figure out how I can get all the way over there. As far as I know, there is another way to get over there, but I can't figure it out. I don't know. I I'm this this whole thing is kind of a maze. Fortunately, no random encounters. Other than that, that we've seen already. No random encounters. So, you know, very fortunate. I'm grateful. And it's Kazuo! He looks a little off, in my opinion, from his, uh, from his movie counterpart. Just a little bit. Close enough. I, I, I give it an A-. I, I, it's far more impressive than anything I could ever come up with. I'll give you that. Uh, so yeah, that was Emmy. That was Kazuo, our, our clones. I can only assume if we fail and die in any part of this, they take over just like anything else in terms of clones. I need to, I need to go over here. And yeah, basically, two optional pathways that don't go anywhere. Just fun little, fun little things that you can run into. You know, Kazuo and Emmy. 
Everything else though is pretty much just straightforward. Uh, going to, going to the actual, uh, actual place that we need to go, and you'll know because you'll get little dialogue boxes like this. Yeah, uh, Kazuo, if if she shout, if she shouts, use the tool. Who was that? I I don't think it was actually Kazuo saying it, because as we know, it usually has the name of who, who is talking. We don't. It just says. It just says what we just read. It ju uh, yeah. Uh, uh, the photo shows reality. That voice is familiar. 